Welcome to Daily Armor. We'll find our scripture today in the book of Exodus, chapter number 33, and our main focus will be on verse 14, but I will be dealing with 11 through 17, but our main focus today will be verse number 14. And if you found your place, uh, read along, and it says, And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. I was thinking this morning, um, there was some songs that were just, um, I was, I was praying at the altar and I was really struggling with words. And what kept happening was that I kept singing a different song. Um, if it was, um, a song of praise or whatever, I just kept thinking of different songs that seemed to put the words into my mouth that I was trying to say. And that, really kind of kept sticking with me this morning and one of the songs that came to mind was that I'll go with you <clears throat> I'll go with you um, I sang this song many years ago and just sang it over and over again and I was telling Todd a few days ago about how that when the Lord gives me a song I know that he's he's given it to me I cannot get it out of my head um, I will just sing it over and over again I will just find myself all of a sudden, I realized I'm singing it and didn't even realize that I started singing it. I'll be driving in, in the vehicle or mowing the mowing the lawn. So many times when I'm on the mower, I am singing the same song over and over and over again while I'm out there on the mower. And so, so many things that I do, I don't even realize it that I, until I'm, I'm like, oh, what am I singing? I, you know, it just kind of dawns on me, hey, I'm singing a song. And then the, the, whole point is that it seems to be that the Lord gives me the same song over and over and over again. And this is one of those songs that he gave me many years ago, about 12, 13 years ago now. And it was, I'll go with you. And I sang it over and over again. And when I first heard it, I knew that the Lord had given me that song, that I was going to need it. Um, and at the time, uh, Todd was in a, um, he was in a valley of decision, and uh, the Lord used that song to help me know that we were going to be leaving, and that, but the Lord said, but I'm going to go with you. And this is a, a, a prayer that Moses was praying um, for, to the Lord for. Um, and let's back up to verse number 11. It says, and the Lord spake unto Moses face to face. As a man speaketh unto his friend, and he turned again to the, into the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight and consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, this is the Lord saying, and he said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, this is Moses, this is a conversation back and forth that Moses and the Lord are having. And Moses responds, and he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. He's saying, Lord, if you don't go with us, we don't want to go. I, I don't want to go anywhere that you're not. Um, Lord, but Lord, if you're, if you'll say, if you're saying that you're going to go with us, then, then I'm going to be okay. And that's what that song meant to me when I sang it, you know, here 12, 13 years ago, that Lord, I don't know what's fixing to happen. I don't know where in the world we're going and what we're doing, but I will go with you is what he kept saying to me. And that's what I needed to hear. That's what get, gave me confidence. That's what, when the days were hard and I was upset, that I knew that we were following the Lord's leadership. And that was um, the biggest help to me ever. Um, if, if I was to be walking, um, you know, out somewhere and there would be a lot of dangers all around, but if the Lord is with us, then, then he is our protection and he is our guide. And if he's leading and we're following his leadership, then wherever he takes us, it's okay to go there. Um, I don't want to be, I don't want to be behind. Um, I didn't want to stay 
um, back home, if the Lord was, is, if he was leading us somewhere else, I certainly didn't want to stay back home without the Lord. Um, I, I didn't have any confidence in, um, you know, in my abilities or even in the, um, familiarity of being at home and knowing, you know, um, the people that I'm around and knowing, you know, my, my surroundings. And I, I wasn't going to put any confidence in that. Um, my confidence was in the Lord. So wherever he is, wherever he's leading, that's where I want to be. And that's where I want to go. And that's kind of what was on my mind this morning. And it says, um, and he said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. And he said, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. Verse 16, for wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth? Verse 17, And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. I loved that part. I highlighted that in my Bible. It's in verse 17, and it's also in verse 12. I highlighted that in my Bible. I love that. He knows me by name. He knows every hair on my head. Um, he calls me out by name. And that is so personal. That is so specific that wherever he leads, I will follow. Whatever he wants me to do, I'm willing to do it, even when I fall flat on my face so many times. Um, some of my the new things that I am trying to, to do um, I am finding I am falling flat on my face, but we have to be persistent and consistent and know that the Lord is in control. Um, and when we, when we fail, the only failure that is, that is horrible is the failure to not try. If I fail to not try, that is true failure. But to, to try and to mess up, to try and to fall flat on my face um, it, that is not, that is not true failure. Um, that is having to fight. That is having to be consistent. That is having to totally rely on him. Even when I fall flat, he picks me up. He picks me up. There's not a day that I don't need him. There's not a day when I can do it on my own. There's not a day when you can do it on your own. We need him. And he calls us by name. If you're saved, he calls you by name. He knows you specifically. I am a Christian, then that is a that consists of a whole slew of people that we are joined together with a common, common um, reality that we are saved and following Jesus Christ. But then specifically, he knows you by name, and specifically he knows me by name. He knows my comings and my goings, and he's in charge of that. He's in charge of that. And I'm just, um, I'm excited and I feel so blessed. And it doesn't mean that things are not scary. It doesn't mean that things are not hard and difficult. And definitely um, when I am, you know, doing things, um, I'm going to mess up. I, I'm just, I'm just that way. I'm clumsy. I get jumbled up on my words. I'm not coordinated, yet the Lord is putting me in all these predicaments and all these circumstances that requires me to fight through those things. Not just say, well, I'm not good at this, and so therefore I'm not going to do that. Well, I'm not good at a whole lot of things that the Lord is putting me busy to do. And I don't do it perfectly. Um, I'm not all that great at a whole lot of things. I don't have like a special skill. Like my husband, he's got so many special skills. He is really talented in a lot of areas. I didn't get that. Um, we're kind of like opposites in that realm. He's really, really excels in some things, and I really, really don't excel in much of anything. I'm one of those that's kind of ordinary and plain. But the Lord still uses me, and the Lord wants to use you. No matter what are the what those things that you think you can't do, um, when the Lord wants you to do them anyway, we can do all things through Christ. He's the one that gives us strength. He's the one that helps us. He's the one that trains us. He's the one that molds us and shapes us. And I feel like I'm this this old 
heavy, gawky wash pot. And the Lord's like, the Lord's in control. He's the potter and I'm the clay. And he is still molding me and shaping me into his image. And I have such a far, far way to go. But he is with me every step of the way. He goes with me. If he's not going, I don't want to go. If he's not there, I don't want to be there. I want to be where he is. I want to follow wherever he leads. And I hope you feel the same way. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.